Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Say so Being Hunted, episode 414. We're back here now with the second attempt at my terrain experiment, that is, this new map here. So, we've already cleared out the centre and south islands, we'll be just continuing on as usual. I do need to gather a few supplies, though. I've got bandages, I've only got, you know, the one bottle, so I could do with... Ooh, some friggin' uh, other stuff in terms of maybe some alarm clocks. Oh, God, do not. For a second, when he came round that rock, then I thought he was gonna go straight for me. But no, we're fine. That's good. Alright, I think we'll just uh, head east. Why the hell not? Um, in fact, no, we won't do that. Before we do that, we'll go to the town over here and we'll uh, stock up on any supplies that we need. Food, mainly. Vitality replenishment stuff. So, hope you guys out there are all doing well and all that. And of course, there's tons of fucking robots around in the area that I want to go to. Now, um, the thing is, um, as I always do with these episodes, I always kind of do it in a podcast style. I talk about various things. And most of the time, I tend to just sort of pick out a topic that's in my mind as of when I uh, have a recording session, which, you know, is understandable and all that. That's what I, that's just what I do. Um... But the sort of thing is, occasionally I get sort of people raising suggestions in terms of things for me to talk about, or asking me, you know, about various topics, things like that. You know, sometimes uh, you get Phil coming in with suggestions when he's collabing, and we just sort of talk about things that are on his mind. But sometimes it's also you viewers out there who uh, suggest stuff. And um, not too long ago, as of when I record this, I had one such... Oh, God bunny rabbit. Um, I had one such suggestion, which I can't remember. I, th I may have sort of talked about briefly before here on the channel, but you know what? Since it's being suggested by people, I'll probably just talk about it again, maybe in a bit more depth if, if uh, there's anything that springs to my mind. And the um, topic, you know, topic in question, ladies and gentlemen, is a certain video game which has been very popular for a long time. Had a massive surge in popularity back in 2011/12, and which then, you know, it, it, a lot of YouTubers back in the day were doing it, series, let's plays, things like that, and which has uh, undergone a resurgence of popularity in more recent times um, at the moment. And that game, ladies and gentlemen, you may well have guessed, is a certain game by the name of Minecraft. Now. Minecraft is one of those games which, you know, has it's been done to death by a lot of people here on YouTube, right? There's been so many channels, particularly established ones, that have been doing so much Minecraft-related content um, over these last few years. And, um, you know, Minecraft is one of those games which I myself... If you, think, if you, if you, if you were to go back over my channel and you were to, you know, sort my videos by sort of their age and go and find, you know, the oldest videos on my channel, you will find Minecraft content. I had a 19-episode series called The Marine Adventure, which, you know, I remember it sort of... I can remember it fairly well. Basically, it was a pretty standard Let's Play of the game, except the twist I put on it was that I had to survive at sea. So I spent, like, the first episode, or rather the first in-game day, just gathering resources. And then when it got to night, I had to sort of go out into the uh, ocean and just survive out at sea, building a sort of very makeshift base, which um, was not easy. But I remember over the course of 19 episodes and doing a bit of work on it off camera, I actually built up this amazingly huge base across this series of big cobblestone platforms. It was quite something. It had like an agricultural platform where I was growing all kinds of crops, things like that. And uh, over time, I even started adding mods to the game um, to try and jazz things up a bit. And um, I did 19 episodes, and, you know, after 19 episodes, I kind of stopped. I just sort of stopped with it, because it sort of reached a point where it wasn't really getting views. Which is unfortunate, because Minecraft is one of those games which I do play it in my own spare time, quite often, in fact. And, um, I, you know, it's one of those games that I would love to do on the channel. It's just the problem is, like I say, it's one of those games which has been done to death on YouTube. And if I was to play it, I would want to do something very original with it, or something fairly standout, something kind of unique. But the problem is, when you've got so many other channels out there pumping Minecraft content out, it's kind of hard to do that. And, you know, on top of that, 
I have asked in the past here on the channel, would people want to see Minecraft content? And sometimes the reaction to it has been kind of mixed. Some people would say yes, other people are kind of, eh, not really. Uh, jump cut was to just go to this next island, ladies and gents. But essentially, you know, those two reasons, that's why I've never actually done Minecraft content to any major depth ever since my marine adventure. Basically just the um, fact that I'd want to do something fairly original and the fact that, I don't know, sort of viewer opinion on whether or not to do it is kind of mixed. But, um... Yeah, it's not because I dislike the game or anything. On the contrary, I do love the, love the game. Though, admittedly, right, here's the thing. Whenever I do play Minecraft in my own time, I tend not to play survival. I tend to be a creative mode kind of person. I love building stuff in Minecraft. That's the kind of person I am. Here's the thing. I do, I do occasionally play survival, but I, would, I don't think I've ever actually played Minecraft through to completion you know, to the end, and defeating the Ender Dragon and all that, and getting the credits. I've never done that, legit, in Minecraft before. Because, the thing is, with survival mode, it's one of those things where, if you're going to play survival mode in Minecraft, you're going to be in it for the long haul, so to speak. In other words, you know, it's, it's going to take you a while to do. And uh, you just have to sort of, you know, put up with it and all that, and just kind of keep blazing away, keep trying. But, um, yeah, I've never actually beaten Minecraft legit. I've used Creative to sort of go to the end and things like that once or twice before. But other than that, I've never really kind of done all that much. I've never beaten it legit, like I say. Which would be good to do. It's just that Minecraft is one of those games where you have to do a lot. And um, it takes a lot of patience. Because obviously it's like you've got to mine diamonds. You want to get the right tools so you can go to the nether so you can get even more stuff. So then you can like start doing brewing to get potions. You have to obviously harvest ender um, ender eyes so you can make ender pearl. No, you have to harvest ender pearl so you can make eyes of ender. That's right. <laughs> I was forgetting for a second how it goes, and um, that's just the way it kind of works. But um, yeah, it, it can just take a while. And of course, there's all the things like the freaking wither and stuff like that now. Again, stuff that I've never actually tried in Minecraft. There's the, like the ocean monuments. All that kind of stuff. But Minecraft is one of those games that over time, it, it really has had a lot kind of added to it. And it's been really fleshed out. So yeah, it, it's been a long, long time. But like I say, I do come back to it and I do love to play creative because I love building stuff. You know, I, I, I sometimes think with Minecraft, it's one of those games where if you play it, you kind of fall into perhaps one of several camps. Either you're a survival kind of player who likes to maybe uh, blitz through and kind of uh, play the main sort of story, I guess you could call it. Or you might be like me, who's like a builder type person who likes to just play creative. Or you might be a bit of a casual who just sometimes likes to load it up and just play it randomly from time to time, do little bits. Yeah, that's um, but yeah, I'm kind of a builder character. And the thing is, you know, if, if you... Um, if you've watched my channel religiously, and you've watched some of my previous, well, things like um, previous Q and A's and things like that that I've done, you'll probably be aware that um, before I set up my uh, channel, the General Red Stretches channel here on YouTube back in 2012, me and Phil had a channel of our own for a year, like a shared channel called the VA Brits, and we used to do Minecraft content on there. We did, we even had like a pretty unoriginal Minecraft Let's Play going on and stuff like that, among other stuff. We used to do Minecraft custom maps. The thing is, if you want a couple of uh, samples of those days, because obviously the VA Bridge channel isn't there anymore, just search on YouTube for General Red Strategist uh, Imperial Archive, and you should find a couple of videos, old VA Bridge videos that I, uh, well, that Phil sent to me because he found them on his computer, and he basically resent them over to me. And I uploaded them on the channel, just for the hell of it. One of them was an episode from our old Minecraft Let's Play. And the other one was um, an episode of a custom map playthrough. Levi's Nightmare, I think it was. So yeah, if you want to watch those, you can find them on YouTube at least. So they're there if you want to see them. But uh, just be braced, because they're old videos. They're from freaking 2011, originally. So the quality on them is a bit shit. Because that's the thing, you know, back in 2011, me and Phil were very much amateurs on YouTube. I mean, to, you know, to some extent, I still am, personally. But 
you know, we when it came to things like video editing, we, you know, video editing was a bit of a mystery to us back in those days. We, we were amateurs, we didn't really know what we were doing. So, you know, just bear that in mind. But I do look back on those days and I do think to myself, man, it's a shame that that channel's not still up. Because, holy shit, watching some of that Minecraft content on there would have been an absolute blast from the past to go back and watch it. But what can you do, eh? It's gone now. Nothing much you can do about that. But, you know, just sticking with the Minecraft topic of conversation, something which has been talked about on my Sir You Being Hunted series before. Um, Phil has actually mentioned it. We talked about it briefly in a thing. The episode... I can't remember what number episode it was for Sir You Being Hunted, but... It was, I think it was the one entitled Best and Worst, where we talked about video games we played in the past, what our kind of best memories of them were, what our worst memories of them were, things like that. And we did mention Minecraft, which we did talk about a bit there. And something which Phil actually mentioned there was when, you know, when me and him were doing the VA Brits, <clears throat> we did have some plans for content we would do in Minecraft. And one of the things... Um, you know, if you, if you were around on YouTube back in 2011, around about that time, something that you'll obviously probably remember from that time was um, Shadow of Israfel, Yogscast's big Minecraft story adventure series that they were doing, Simon and Lewis together, and all that. You'll remember that, right? This big sort of storyline series where it was just them two, and they had like all these other characters played by other players, members of the Yogscast. And the thing is, there was a point during the VA Brits, where me and Phil were actually planning on doing something like that of our own, like a story adventure series, me and him. I mean, you know, granted, looking back on it now, it would have been such a shameless friggin' copy of what the Yogg's cast were doing. But ours, you know, ours was going to be essentially like a sci-fi series, all about, like, time travel, things like that. And the thing was, I was very much kind of the one in charge of planning the story to it. And... The thing is, because I was uh, very much kind of a builder, a building enthusiast in Minecraft, I actually did start building the map that we were going to use for that series. And I still have that map. And it's got a lot of shit on it that I built. And Phil has mentioned this in that Best and Worst episode. And one thing that he did suggest was that maybe what I should do sometime is actually load up Minecraft and record a video where I show off that map, and maybe, you know, or not just one video, but maybe a couple of videos, where I just tour around that map and show it off. Because the thing is, like I say, I still have that map. I started building it back in 2011. And the truth is, sometimes I still load it up, and I still continue building stuff on it. You know, every maybe couple of months, I just reload it and have a look at it. And it's such a kind of, it's kind of sad when I do load it up, when I look back on it, because I, I did so much work on that map in my own time, and at one point we had a whole team of people, we had our own private server with ourselves, me and Phil, and a bunch of other people who were going to help us in terms of building up more and more of the map, they were going to be our kind of, you know, our, our sort of cast of characters who were going to help us with actually filming this story and everything, but sadly it just it just never came to be. Unfortunately, real life just sort of got in the way. Because the thing is, this was back in, like I say, 2012 now, 2013. Sorry, not 2012. Um, no, yeah, 2012, around about then. Because even after the VA Brits shut down, I think we did still kind of have plan. No, no, not 2012. What am I thinking? Was I getting that right? No, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting the timings confused in my head. No, it was around 2011, because I was still an undergraduate but I was in my sort of uh, final years at university at the time, final years of my undergraduate studies. And yeah, I think real life just got in the way because my final year of undergraduate just got very busy. And unfortunately, I just couldn't dedicate time to it. And I think Phil couldn't either because he had a lot going on at that stage because he was also in his undergraduate university studies. And so as a result, the kind of team that we had together just kind of went their ways and uh, it never came to be, which was really unfortunate. But Phil, you know, in that Best and Worst video, made that suggestion of, you know, maybe I should do a couple of videos where I just tour that map and I just talk about what our plans were for it. Because I, I still do remember the plans for what the storyline of this series me and Phil had in the works was going to be. 
I might still have friggin like design documents where I was just writing out a general overview and things like this of what was going to happen. And so it would probably be good actually to just take a look at that map. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that and I'll do it as like bonus content here on the channel. So um, indeed, uh, maybe you have that to look forward to. I've been saying that I'm going to do that for a while though and I still haven't. Which, yeah, I really need to rectify. I need to come back. I need to do that. But um, let's just say, yeah, the map that I had built, um, there was a lot that I put together. Basically, the, the kind of series that we were doing, it was going to start off in London, or rather in a sort of Minecraft version of London. And it was going to turn into this big sort of time travel sci-fi adventure. Where it was like, there was going to be a baddie who would... Um, Actually, I won't really say too much of what the storyline was going to be, because I'll probably save that for when I actually do this sort of bonus content where I kind of go through the map and all that. But essentially, it was going to be a baddie who comes and, like, transports London into another dimension, and then we'd have to go on this big adventure to kind of undo it. But that was the uh, essential, essential uh, storyline. And I built up this huge section of what was Westminster in Minecraft. And, um, God, it, it was quite something, let's put it that way. That was the essential story. Yeah, I I definitely need to do a video or two where I just sort of explore that old map and I just talk about what it was we had planned. Okay, right. I think we'll wrap this uh, episode up here, ladies and gentlemen, and we will continue on with the terrain experiments in the next episode. So, we've only got two islands left to actually visit, and, you know, the terrain's been pretty dramatic, but we haven't had any impassable areas in terms of jetties that can't be accessed or anything like that. But, so, um, you know, I think we've got a uh, lucky little map here, ladies and gents. In which case, uh, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel if you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, there, there, there. Try that again. That came out garbled. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Let me know below as well. Would you be looking forward, perhaps, to seeing me go through this old map that I've talked about from Minecraft and actually just give, like, a guided tour of it and just talk about it? Because I certainly would be up for it. In fact... I don't know why I'm sort of saying that, because I probably am going to do it. So yeah, you have that to look forward to. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, wow, it just fucking wiped me. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Right, we've got to remember yeah, that, basically Phil. Just, basically just...